You want action pack, gang wars, and fast pace with catchy J music? Then buckle up and let's fly to Japan! Released in 2016, Road to High and Low the movie was directed by Shigiaki Kubo. This movie is the first of the six movie series and was released the year after the TV series called High and Low The Story to Sword. If you have watched season one Story to Sword and you want to get into the movie series, I can 100% guarantee that you don't need to watch this movie. But if you do need a refresher and it's been a while since you've watched season one, then this movie is perfect for you. The story mainly follows three best friends Cobra, played by Takanori Iwata, Yamato, played by Nobuyoki Suzuki, and Nuburu, played by Kieta Machida, all growing up together since elementary. Nuburu had ambitions of being a lawyer, and thanks to Cobra and Yamato, he was on a clear path to reach his goal. Whereas Cobra and Yamato had a completely different path. They were both part of a motorbike gang called Mugen, but was disbanded after a run in with the Amamiya brothers, who then vanishes after the last brawl with Mugen, leaving the district open for grabs. Now we fast forward to the current time in the movie, but if you want to get into the details and the background of the characters, I highly suggest you watch Season 1 Story to Sword. Keeping in mind the movie is a summary of Story to Sword and there are snippets and highlights from the TV series. The district is now run by five different gangs. Sano Hoodlum Squad, led by Cobra and Yamato. White Rascals, led by Rocky, played by Keiji, and Ku, played by Yuya Endo. Oya High School, led by Yoshiki, played by Yuki Yamada, and Todoroki, played by Goki Maeda. Rude Boys, led by Smokey, played by Masataka Kubota, and Shion, played by Tosoko Nagase, and Takeshi, by, played by Ryo Sanno. And finally, we have Daruma Ika, played by Hyoga, played by Kento Hayashi, Yukio, played by Kaname Endo, and finally, Sakyo, played by Ryohe Abe. And so the district was renamed Sword District, after the first initial of each gang's name. So far, there is peace in the district, by each group staying in their own territories. What I love about this Gang Wars movie, which, by the way, I do not condone any gangs or gang wars, is each of the group have their own personalities. For example, you have the White Rascals, who are pretty much like your White Knight, who goes against violence on women. And then we have Rude Boys, who take in the homeless and the orphaned and protect them like family. An old-style mob-like gang called Kuria Group, led by Tatsumi, played by Tatsuya Nakamura, and Nikiaido, played by Kenchi, wants to take over Sword District. Kuriyu offer each of the gangs to either join them or be destroyed. But when Kuriyu realize Sword will not back down, they set up each of the gangs to go against each other for easy destruction. Luckily, each of the Sword leaders catch on the game before a mass war almost breaks out and squash that plan. And so Kuriyu plots a plan B. Introducing the Mighty Warriors, led by Ice, played by Ellie. Will Kuria Group succeed on the next plot and finally take over Sword District? Or will the five leaders be able to overcome the trouble ahead to protect their territories and keep the Sword District? If you plan to watch the movie first and then the TV series later, be warned that this movie is a spoiler and it does highlight all the important scenes from the TV series. The movie on its own is great if you don't want to invest on the characters and getting to know each of the group's background stories. The main story still does flow, although it is quite fast paced. I actually watched the movie first and then the TV series after. 
I was still able to follow the story in the movie, but I'm the type of person who wants to get to know each of the characters and how the groups were actually formed. So the TV series Story to Sword was actually great for that. There's a lot of actors and actresses that I didn't even get to mention, not just for the support roles, but also the main characters. Now, there are critics that have mentioned the number of characters in this movie is quite chaotic and is very hard to follow each of the individuals. But I actually find that it works in this movie because it shows the collective effort of each of the gangs as opposed to just the main leads. Now, my last thoughts on this movie, it is quite tacky, but yet entertaining. It did kind of feel a little bit of cut and paste from the TV series, but yet the story still made sense. Now, what got me through from two stars to three stars is the soundtrack. It was actually quite catchy and it matched each of the scenes and the personalities of the groups perfectly. If you've watched Road to High and Low, the movie, comment below and let me know what you think of the movie. You don't necessarily need to agree with me. And if you want me to keep recommending you movies to binge watch, hit the like button and also click subscribe to keep up to date with all the videos that I upload every week. And until next time, bye!